After the success of the Nigel Owens video, I'm getting loads of comments to watch Wayne Barnes. So, here we go. I've not watched this, so I don't know how he referees. Um, I'm assuming he referees different to Nigel Owens, but that's just assuming from the comments um, requesting me to react to him. Uh, so let's give it a watch. I just want to make it clear, okay? I don't need you, uh, too many penalties. Yeah. If you tackle someone, yeah. that is a tackle. That is yeah. not a more. So you then looking at me and screaming. He's being quite you know, descriptive. That means it's a tackle, okay? Okay. okay? So there's now too many penalties okay. in a row. If it continues, someone goes to go. Yeah, I'm going to go and speak to him as well. Yeah. But you need to speak to your players about too many penalties now, okay? Straight away, he's been quite descriptive. Um, a lot of you in the comments have mentioned that actually it's okay to be descriptive and, and talk to players more because rugby so stop start unlike football where they want it to flow um but like i said straight away really descriptive but also in a way that he's saying this is the way it is there's no other there's no discussion about it this is the way it is i'm happy to tell you why i'm you know um but this is the way it is um and by the way he said i'm going to talk to their guy now seems seems really fair um, but try to put that across to the players that he is being fair. 12. Ken Owens chooses 12. not to argue. Let's make it really clear. You come and ask for a yellow card, you get one. Okay, thank understand? You. Yeah. Both of you come in. That is the sort of thing a football referee would say that. But I'm yet to see a football referee book someone because a player has asked for another, the opposition to be booked. Um, yeah, yet to see them actually be booked for it. Come here now. We have an example to set for the game. As captains and the members of the England side, OK? You have examples. We are not going to start raising our voices, shouting and pointing. What I'm going to do, now let me explain. The touch just is unsure whether in the act of scoring, the four was in touch. I'm going to check whether or not it was in touch. Can it's exactly the same as in the first half when Mr. Yeah. Paul said to me, can you check? And I will. Okay. So I will do that. OK? <laughs> Very calm, but strict at the same time. You know he's in charge. Okay, Michael, Michael, this is a penalty. When a player runs up and shouts, that's got to be a card. Sorry, Okay, just ask him. Sorry, Alex. It's a penalty. Caught in possession by Alex Tate. And Newcastle harrying, and they have the penalty. I'm not sure what, what went wrong, but I'm sure he's going to tell us. Captains, please. I'm not sure. Captains, please. Lewis, who's your captain? Genji. Um, let me just tell you what. Look, six and ten are just having a bit of a pull in the shirt. That's fine. But 18's has come in and escalated every chucking people, telling people he wants to have a fight in the car park afterwards. That's not really acceptable. So it was going to be a scrum. It's now a penalty against number 18. Just have a word. It's interesting to see that... Um, what he did was he increased um, the punishment there um, from what it was originally going to be. And I like that, actually, that they were able to do that. Um, but just to link in with with being a football referee, um, because it's not quite a stop-start as rugby, um, yes, we do sometimes bring both captains in if, if we really feel like we need to. Uh, but we quite often, if there's a player that we need to calm down or on his last warning, um, then it's more of a case of running alongside him as he's running while the game's going, or you might do it alongside the captain. You say to the captain, for example, get him to shut up or, you know, in nicer terms, or, or as you're running past the player, say no more from you or something like that. Um, so that's a little bit of a difference. Uh, I think that's just the different styles of the game the stop start and the flowing um, the way that goes please just calm down okay <laughs> penalty <laughs> if your players run and shout at me after i've just told you it's a full line out yeah, okay, no. i'm going to deal with them talk to your players because you're not passing on the message I agree, man. okay yeah, no, no, no that's that's the end of that conversation
organisation. I told you it was a full line out. Don't have your players running. I think it seems in rugby that um, there is obviously more emphasis on the captain to tell his team information from the ref. And I think in football, we do tell the captains to, to give the information. But it's very, very rare that they actually then bother. You know, so that's probably where things escalate even more because the captains don't, don't, don't give the players the, the information that the referee's given. Green at me. Fear not. Meantime, there's a game still going on. Myla. That's a penalty as well. Oh, goodness me. I, um, we've seen, we've had this video already. Apparently, said something along the lines of cheating. I did see in the comments there was a debate whether the, whether Hartman said cheat to the other team or to the referee. Either way, looks like you say, "What? What is with that haircut?" You go over that. You go over that. Go over that. What stop? Potentially is a penalty. If he's in the way, they're going to play that way. He's lobbed the ball straight into it. I'm not surprised. Carl Pritz is annoyed. I totally understand with what you're saying, but just that reaction, we've just got to calm down. Totally understand what you're saying. And we'll talk about it afterwards. But okay. Okay. sadly, that's not okay. the way it's But going. that's still a law. It might be a bad law, but it's a law. You've got a quick water break, fellas. That's oh, 20 minutes. I do it. I, I like what he said there. It may be a bad law, but it is the law. And as a football referee, there are laws that we think are stupid, I'm sure. Don't ask me off, off the top of my head. Um, but if you want to ask in the comments, I will think of some. <laughs> yeah, Running to a brick wall there as well. Break, you see Bristol have pumped, aren't they? Different quick side break. now. They've got their on, noses so the in front. Been running around quite a lot. Including me. Like he can have a joke at sometimes then. The assistants there happy, I think. Got to be very careful. If I'm standing in your way, please just ask me to move. Okay? It's a penalty against you, but you've got to be. Okay. Okay. I know. I know. I keep stopping and starting, but there's a lot. There's a lot here. Um, the amount of times that a player will tell me to get out of the way when I'm refereeing football, when there's all the space and they decide to pass to someone through me, you think. What are you doing? And, and this is the problem in the fact that, yes, it is a game of 22 players, but actually it's a game of 23 players because the referee is a part of the game. Um, and obviously, Wayne Barnes got a little bit shirty here and fair play. You know, we're a part of the game. You know, we get into a position where we need to be um, to be able to see what's going on and, and, and to be able to react quickly. Um, so players need to realise that. Listen to Wayne Barnes. It's not about whether he gets out any quicker. He can fall that side and obstruct the nine path. That's what we spoke about. Freeing up the ball for nine. One against you. One against six. One against one. It's brilliant. It's, it's, yeah. This is what happened. This is what we're going to do about it. Okay, we're just going to we're just going to take it once to stop the mark. I just want his tail to die down in a second. It's disappearing. All I want is to be able to see. <laughs> <laughs> when, when the rain comes horizontally at you and you just can't see worst worst games. Thirty seconds. This is gonna blow over in thirty seconds. <laughs> no, I don't need you. I don't need you. Um, understand this uh, understand this important game, loads of pressures, but um, you've still got a lot of games left in the season. Um, if you two carry on like this We'll just get two other players on, okay? Yeah. Understand? Okay, first offence is a knock on, scrum, blue ball. Thank you, fellas. Yellow card. That was quite cynical. Yeah, yeah, getting himself caught in. It's a shoulder check. <laughs> 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 Nothing wrong with that. 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 Nothing wrong with it's happened a couple of times. Come on, come on. Come on. You, think that was, you can't retaliate by driving into a player not close to the ball. Penalty is against you. A talking point, I think it's fair to say. Not and even a yellow card. Timmy Phil stays on the pitch. I thought the tackle was acceptable. That's why I played on. That, ex that wasn't. It's Frinini from Japan. Mac Tugley 
That's real ugly. He's straight in there. And this very well to Redmond, make sure whatever. nothing escalated uh, by getting in there quickly. And it's a penalty to Wales. Oh, now then. Well, he was pointing at Bernard Jackman when he said that. In that scrum, Wayne Barnes must be thinking in terms of that scrum got messy. The penalty try. And he's going to have a. No, 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 hold on, hold on, just listen to me. Second penalty in a row. This player has gone across and come out. I'll put three in the bin if I need to. Are you I, of course I can. I will. Now no, two and. Is he okay, Jack? On the cola. Just keeping an eye on uh, Matu. Matu. He certainly comes easy. across that he second. knows. Just take a second. He knows that he's got the support from, from Wayne Barnes. Of his, um, immediately after he'd seen that collision that uh, his rugby federation that can do this disciplinary action. So they take. If he says he's going to do it, they take it seriously. Heard you, Mark. Again, you can have a joke sometimes. Doing for pace on the outside? No, you're doing for pace on the outside. <laughs> Billy, can you go back on the halfway line, please? Can you well, go back? Not... back to that one. Been a rivalry since October 2010, but my goodness, we've been busy patting in the history since then. Well, Billy, when the ball's about to be sent off here, if they're not doing what he's told, fortunately, one of his players come and rescue him. We'll leave it there. There certainly seems like um, he is sterner. He says what happened and what's going to happen, and they they know it. They know that he's got the power to do that. They respect that decision and they deal with it. Um, he, he certainly seems a little a little stricter, um, or, or comes across stricter, more straight to the point than uh, than Nigel Owens. A slightly different way of refereeing, but still he gets the job done, and and it's impressive. Um, as a referee, it is impressive. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked the video. Don't forget, give it a thumbs up. Cheers, guys. See you next time.